What is up, YouTube? My name is Bunny Films, and today we're back into the great game of Lumber Tycoon 2. And guys, it is Thanksgiving. Hello there. And first off, before we begin, happy Thanksgiving. I apologize for not uploading. I've just been lazy and busy and all that fun stuff. But before we look at the turkeys and the cranberry sauce, all that fun stuff, we're going to look at these weird things up here. Well, I don't... What are these? So, I mean, these are all the blueprints from fancy furnishings they're on top of the mountain oh gosh they're fans i'm in a private server this is not mine just some random server that i found but either way th this is only oh shoot i'm trying to get up on top of this mountain because i really want to check these mysterious blueprints out i don't think they're supposed to be up there so i hope you're having a fantastic day you're watching this on thanksgiving i'm recording this at 1 14 in the morning but that's great so here we go. This is really mysterious. Really, really mysterious. Uh, screenshot. There we go. And now, guys, we're going to go ahead, take our truck, and we're going to go check out where us, and then we're going to go over to the safari biome and look for the cranberry sauce. And I have a feeling that Bob is going to be selling this cranberry sauce, because he already sells an, um, like a similar product. It's like the can of worms. I think they're gummy worms. But either way, let's head over to Wood R Us. And they're stocking up on their turkeys as well. And this year, it is the green bone turkey, I think. Is it? Okay. We have to look for ourselves. And look at all of these turkeys. And yes, it is the green bone turkey. And the description is only by request. And does cost you $292. Uh, I hope I don't get in your way. Let me just buy one turkey. Thank you. There we go. And which one did I buy? I got about this one. And I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot now. There we go. Let's, boom, for the thumbnail, of course. And I think we're good for one right now. And before, actually, guys, I really want to see, I don't think, okay, yeah, here we go. And this is a green bone turkey. So the bones are green, like the little two ends are green. And there's been a blue bone turkey and a regular turkey, a white bone turkey. And, oh gosh, I don't want to hit anyone because he has a bunch of turkeys and I don't want them to go flying everywhere even though turkeys don't fly. Wait, yeah, turkeys don't fly. But either way, let's go ahead and look for our cranberry sauce. I've never had cranberry sauce, I don't think I ever will, but it's some Thanksgiving thing that people enjoy to eat on Thanksgiving, and it's festive. So, do you like cranberry sauce? Comment that in the comment section below. I don't like cranberry sauce. Actually, I can't really say that, because I've never tried it, because I've never had the opportunity to. And I never knew it existed until, like, this lumber update. But either way, let's go ahead and search for this cranberry sauce, because I don't know where it is yet, but all I know is that it was in the game files and people were talking about it. So, are they celebrating anything? Anything special going on? Nope. Oh gosh, I'm online on Discord and I'm getting so many direct messages. And if you are messaging me on Discord, give me a few hours, days to respond back, because I have so many messages, like, every day. And here we are, guys. We have arrived and... Oh, wait, no, wrong store. But either way, these blueprints that were over there earlier are still here. So, like, what's going on? It's a good question. But either way, let's go ahead and get the cranberry sauce. And I wish there would be something more unique to this update. I mean, there's nothing in the change log, But, I mean, the, the updates are getting more scarce and scarce. Or sparse. Yeah, sparse. But either way... Let's go ahead and drive over here. Do we see our cranberry sauce? Hey, guys, we have cranberry sauce. Look at that picture. Boom. This cost $2,800. And... Guys, I wonder what we can do with this. Okay, the dynamite's normal. Don't hit me. There we go. Nothing up there. I wonder what this cranberry sauce does. We're going to buy quite a few of these because I really want to see. Like, does it do anything? Let's open one. There we go. It's nothing, it's just a can. But if you do know, this um, can right here is the can of worms. And that actually is one of the items that is required to get the worker reacts or the end times axe on Halloween and only Halloween. But it's part of the recipe that includes a light bulb and a bag of sand in a specific order. And oh my gosh, everyone is finding me and screaming me in the chat. Um, <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, sometimes I can't see that. I, don't, I, like, I completely blur out, blur out the chat and stuff. Oh, let's grab that. There we go. It's like Black Friday in Lumber Tycoon 2. This is the closest you'll get to it, uh, because, like, there's no mayhem. This is the closest you'll get, because, I mean, 
I've never black, I don't I've never been doing I've never been a big fan of Black Friday. If you don't know what Black Friday is, I'll give you a little history lesson while we buy ourselves some cranberry sauce and see what it does. But basically, one of the theories of which Black Friday originated from is that um the the so back in the day when people use pens and stuff to write down stuff. I mean, now nowadays people just use computers and type in numbers like beep boop. But either way, back then, they used black ink to make mark profit, and they used red ink to mark losses. So it was called Black Friday because that the day after Thanksgiving was when they started to make profits, or large profits, I believe. Somewhere around, around, uh, somewhere around that, those lines is the origination of Black Friday. I'm not 100% sure, but that's what I was told, and we do have plenty of cans now. So the question is, what do we do with these? I mean, not like, oh, do we decorate them? Do we put them on the shelf? No. I'm wondering, is this part of something bigger? Like, is it like a, a can of worms that gives you an axe or something? I don't know. That's a good question. And either way, the bridge is going up. That is just splendid. Oh, he's already lowering it, and it's going right back down. How fun. Uh, a creamy. Uh, I don't do creamies. Um, I apologize. I do screenies, yeah. But either way, uh, I haven't seen this chat at all. I mean, I just see ah 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 yas. Mm -hmm. That's that's like all I see in the chat right now. But either way, uh, what else? What else is there to do? So we have our we have our uh cranberry sauce. I don't, there has to be some purpose to this, cause like everything has purpose. Other than just decoration. I mean, I don't know. Let's feed it to the guy under the bridge. That guy. We're down a can. Let's see if this guy eats it. <coughs> I doubt he will, but it's worth a shot. Because every year, whenever there's like a food item released or every update, I give it to him. It doesn't move, so I just take it back. Wait, come on. There we go. So he's, that guy is scorous. He's like a Roblox guy. He, he works for them. But... Either way, that's unsuccessful. And by the time you're watching this, it might have been figured out what cranberry sauce and the turkeys do and all that fun stuff. I mean, for the regular turkey, the original turkey, the white bone turkey, whatever you want to call it, you could actually cook it and burn it in the oven. I mean, not oven. In the volcano. And I'm missing my base. This doesn't look like my base at all because there's so many pink cars on it. But I'm still fascinated by what these things are up there. I mean, it's like, what, what are those? Um, by the way, this is a complete mess. I don't know what I'm building on here yet. Uh, oh no. I don't want anyone in my car. Okay. We are going to go to, how about, okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to, oh shoot. We need some dynamite. And I dropped the turkey. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing right now. I, I really do not. I just want to figure out what the sauce does. It has any purpose or any point. Like, what do I do with it? Because I bought myself some, like, very expensive cans of it. I don't know what retailer would sell cranberry sauce for $2,800. I'd rather buy a car than bring cranberry sauce to Thanksgiving. But either way, I don't have any dynamite. Wait. Scratch that. Here we go. We have a stick of dynamite right here. There we go. And what we will do is we are going to take this over to the snow biome. And I mean, I really want to investigate those. I mean, they're just mysterious. I mean, what's not to like about something mysterious? That's like the one one of the newest updates to Lumber Taker 2. Those little <laughs> glitched blueprints up there. That's like the only new thing besides Thanksgiving. Cranberry sauce and the turkeys. Like, that. Yeah. I wish this game had more updates, to be honest. I mean, it has potential, but... He's working on bigger projects, bigger things, etc. But, I mean, oh, everyone's trying to talk to me in the chat. I apologize if I'm not saying hello. But either way, let's go ahead and pop this in here. And whenever you lay dynamite, like in reality, you want to run as far away as possible before it explodes or you go oof. There we go. So it detonated. Woohoo. Let's wait for the rocks to disappear, like they magically do every time. There we go. And we are in. Nothing so far. 
Before we go to the work we done, we're gonna first check out um, the little snow cabin over here. Let's see if there's anything new, because I always, I have like my um, specific locations that I like to visit when there's an update or new item or something, just to see if there's anything special or unique going on there. But either way, Slid's not going up. Is that special? I think so. Maybe. Maybe it's just lag. I don't know. Let's hop up here. Okay, there we go. Nothing. It's dark, cold, same old, same old. Either way, hop back in. And let's turn around. And there was a... Oh, wait, never mind. I was thinking of the chicken axe for whatever reason. I, for whatever reason, I thought it came out on Thanksgiving. But that was a Christmas present last year, I think. Or the year before. I don't know. It was a Christmas present. But either way, over here is the York Reacts. And it requires three items to uh, achieve it. Wait. <gasps> Wait a second, guys. Hold on. Hold your horses. Can I get down here? There we go. Nothing new. What if... Let's try something, guys. I mean... Oh, no. The sun's closing. I mean... Ah. It's one in the morning, guys. You have to cut me some slack. I mean, the sun is closing. I called the volcano an oven. Like... I mean, cut me a little slack, please. <laughs> but either way, we have to get to fancy furnishings to buy ourselves a light bulb. Because I'm going to try and see what happens if we implement the other stuff, like the light bulb and the sand. And instead of using the regular can of worms, we use the cranberry sauce. So I'll be back in a moment once I have all the items. All right, everyone, we have everything we need for our little experiment. I hope this works. I hope this does something magical, but who knows? Let's drop in the light bulb, open the hatch again, grab our can. This is like the regular can, though. That's just regular worms. But either way, let's grab this, open it up, pop that in. There we go. And let's grab our light bulb. I'm not, or wait, <gasps> no. Do I seriously? Wait, I think I already did the light bulb. I hope I did. Okay, thank goodness. I thought I did. Okay. Either way, let's go ahead. We grab the sand. You put it on him. This guy right here, I think. Is that Zoller Kenneth? Or Keith? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know who these people are, but they're people. Either way. Um, head of the table. I'm looking at the wiki. The left guy eats the can of worms. So instead, we're going to give him some cranberry sauce. Okay, let's put that there. There we go. And finally, the light bulb on this guy because he likes to eat light bulbs. Magic happened. Something magical. Please. Anything. Nope. Maybe we flip-flop them, because left is right, right is left. Opposite day. Magic. <laughs> Nothing. Well, guys, that is a bit sad. What if we do this? Oh, the creepy whispering now. Okay, let's put that there. Put this here. There we go. Set it down. There we go. And I'll grab this. Ah! Is this a brand new axe? This is definitely not a rookery axe. Oh my gosh, guys. We discovered a brand new axe. This is the uh, rookery axe um, with more power. Look at it, guys. It flies. Oh, wow. It's a flying axe. No sarcasm. Lol, 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 lol. Let the axe go. Oh, here it is. Wait, let's send it back up. Wait, hold on. Hold on, guys. Dang it. <laughs> I really want to send this back up. There we go. Oh. There we go. Ah, we got ourselves a rookery axe that's just floating up there. Oh, oh, there's the music. Okay, let's just send it. There we go. So, that's proven unsuccessful. I have no clue what cranberry sauce is for, but it's a cool update to the game. I hope you did enjoy today's video. Make sure you do hit that like button and also consider subscribing. I try to make daily content every day, but obviously I failed at that. Either way, guys, have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.